Oh, the habits of my heart I can't say no It's ripping me apart You get too close <laughs> just flipped it off Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna be a video and it's going to be a scoliosis video because I haven't done one in a while and I need to because I just been wanting to do one and yeah, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, and I know that some of y'all guys have been asking questions, so it's just gonna be kind of like a back brace slash like scoliosis Q and A, not just like my story or like my journey or whatever, not just like with my experience with it, but like it like facts about it in general or questions people have and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the video. The first thing that I want to like point out, like a lot of people have been asking is does it hurt like your back in general hurt and when you have scoliosis like your back isn't straight so basically like your back hurts when you grow most of the time like i right now i'm growing a lot like constantly like for the past year i've been growing like non-stop and i will for like the next two years it does hurt especially when you have your brace on because you're very uncomfortable and your back's moving and I mean, you need to wear your brace when you're growing, because that's the point of it, to stop from the curve getting bigger. Um, but yeah, it does hurt a lot. Not constantly. Sometimes, some days, it's just like, oh, I feel so good. I don't even know the brace is on. And some days, I just, like, want to cry, because it sucks. It's really fun. Another question I got was, like, was people asking if it hurt when you first got your brace? And it does hurt a lot. I know for some people, it doesn't hurt. Um, but for me, it did really hurt. I have to wear my brace 20 hours a day. What they did was they eased me into it. So like the first day, you're in it for like in like 20 minutes. Then you take 10 minute break, 30 minutes, 10 minute break, 40 minutes, and then you go to sleep. And the next day, you go higher and higher. So it's not like they put you in 20 hours the first time because they can't do that. It hurts too much. Or at least for me, my experience. <laughs> so like after a week or two, you're like... I got this, I'm wearing it 20 hours a day. Yeah, I wear it at night. Um, some people I know, that they just wear it at night, and some people they don't wear it at night and just throughout the whole day, but it's different for everyone. Um, it's like your age and how much you grow, that kind of stuff. And I also got a lot of questions asking if I, need sur I needed surgery or not, and I'm not completely sure. Every six months I have a new appointment to get an x-ray and like see where my back's at, and at my next appointment I think is in the next couple months or next month around that time. Um, so when I go to that appointment, I will vlog it and just kind of like show y'all what my doctor's appointments usually are like. I'll show you the x-ray and everything. Right now, I'm at, or, or I, I stutter a lot, I'm sorry. My last appointment was in August and then I was 28 and 32, like my curves. And I feel like they've gotten worse just because I don't wear my brace like I should. And um, I don't know, it's just been hurting a lot more. And it just depends on how much my curve was at now and I don't know. Um, so I will give you guys updates if you want. And I think you need a 45 degree curve to have surgery. Next is the brace portion of the video. And this is actually something this is something that I've been trying to avoid um, because I honestly don't like showing people. I don't like, I don't like it at all, obviously, because it's awful, but uh, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Don't be scared. It's not bad. I always get used to it and stuff. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys like what mine looks like and there are different types of, and explain the different types of braces and stuff. This is my brace. Um, I hate showing people this. Um, it has three straps on the back, so you just like, I have to tighten mine all the way, like as much as it can go. Some people, again, it's different depending on how much your curve is. Um, I know that the first week when I got my brace, I couldn't put it on by myself, and it was annoying, but you, like, the third week, second week, I had already known how to put it on by myself. Um, so basically what they do when you measure yourself for the brace um when you go to your appointment and then they like they scan you with this like scanning thingy it's like when you like go to the library i go to the library 
It's like when you go to the store and they're scanning your items, like that scan thing. It looks exactly like that and they just like scan around your body when you have like a tank top on or something. And then they fit you. That's it. Um, and you have like two appointments for that. Like one is when they scanned you and the other one's like when they fit you in the brace after it's made and stuff. Um, so that took about like a month. A lot of people have been asking like what's a downside about your brace and I feel like the main thing for me like right now just because I'm like going through like a stage and stuff is like not being able to wear what I want uh, because like in the summer everyone's like wearing all these crop tops and all these like tight shirts and not, not like I would wear tight shirts anyway but like it's so easy to see my brace through so many clothes um, and especially in the summer when it's hot, it's in Texas, it's like a hundred degrees and I can't wear like crop tops and accessible clothes for summer and stuff. It does get really annoying just because you can't wear what you want. I mean, you can, but it would definitely show. And yeah, that's just me because I don't like people seeing my brace and stuff. It's just really like weird. And also on the brace, like they usually have like these like cushions where your curve is so I have one um, right here like facing that way it's like it's, my, my curves an S so you have two loose cushion things and then they push on your curve if you're wondering it so it's like right here underneath your arm and it goes like less than halfway down your butt after again like after the first week you will adjust to your brace you'll be perfectly fine people have also been asking me because everyone comes to me and asks questions because I am like tired banks or something. They've been asking me um, what you can do to like prevent your back from hurting or like when it hurts to make it feel better or whatever. I think the main thing for me is yoga. Yoga, not like hardcore yoga, like go to a class yoga, but like it's not even yoga. Why do I call it that? It's basically you just stretch a lot. Like, um, I do some yoga poses or, like, stretching poses where you, like, go on the ground and you, like, touch your feet, like, that kind of stuff. And, like, my doctor said that you can also get, like, physical therapy or do physical therapy and it would work. Just, just This just the same. Um, and it just helps your back pain. Like, I have really bad lower back pain. My lower back was hurting and he told me that I needed to stretch more because it, I don't know exactly why, this, this I don't know the scientific term or whatever, but if you stretch more, it will hurt a lot less and you'll feel a lot better. I mean, I do it, but I'm not a professional or anything. I literally got poses off Pinterest. I think that's it? Is that it? I don't know. That is it for today's video. Um, I will be doing more of these like more often, more like outfit ideas. Cause I am so fashionable. Okay, I can't see, that was stupid. I say that every week, but I'm seriously going to genuinely try to post a lot more because I really want to post more and help more people. Even though I don't help anyone, I just kind of annoy them. I will be posting more. I'm super excited about that, and I'm actually really excited to do more videos because I have a lot of video ideas right now, and I'm like really hyped because my new sweatshirt came in the mail. Also, today, my friend was like, okay, Rachel, do this, and I was like, okay, and I did this. <laughs> it tastes so bad. I'm actually like a French bulldog. I swear, if someone says in the comments that this dog looks better than me, then I swear I will like hug you because it's true. I'll see you guys next week. Have an amazing day, and it's actually night right now. That's why the lighting sucks. But yeah. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for 360 subscribers. Oh, and y'all can, like, like the video if you want, or just, like, I don't freaking care. Free country. Make America great again. Me and my friend were talking about how... If Donald Trump wins the election, he's gonna like make everyone buy his book and be like, everyone in America, buy my book in Barnes and Noble now, or like, free Twitter followers if you vote for me. If you subscribe, you get free Twitter followers. Guaranteed. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop. I need to make a thumbnail. <laughs> just flipped it off. I'm actually gonna do that with something now though. Can I do that?
or will I get flagged? 